to 20% of pregnancies will end. The majority of those will end in the first trimester. One in five pregnancies end in miscarriage. Pregnancy loss is often taboo to talk about, and that only does a disservice to women because it is so common, and most of the time it's nothing they did wrong. March is Pregnancy After Loss Awareness Month, and this is a topic that hits very close to home for me and my family. My husband and I lost our first two babies. I've talked very openly about our loss, our grief, and how we were able to move past it, and that's why we want to talk about it in our village today with an obstetrician who sees it all firsthand and also knows it personally. There's an expectation that pregnancy is this beautiful, natural, easy thing. And it oftentimes is not. For those who have experienced a pregnancy loss, you know the feeling, no matter at what point the loss happened. As a woman, as soon as you see a positive pregnancy test, it's a real pregnancy. Guilt usually follows. Well, there's a lot of guilt and concern that they did something wrong. And most of the time, that's not the case. I think there's a difference between feeling guilty about the loss of a pregnancy versus feeling grief about that loss. And I try to help my patients separate those two issues and say, yes, it's normal to feel the loss and feel a lot of pain and anguish about that loss, but that's not the same as feeling that you've done something wrong. And if you can separate those, it can help them move forward so they don't feel as though it's somehow their fault. The hard conversations she had with her patients ended up becoming a conversation she had to have herself. My first pregnancy was a miscarriage. And I remember being really nervous and anxious about that pretty much through my first healthy full-term pregnancy as well. And I remember being pregnant during the due date of what would have been my first delivery. And it's just a unnerving process. I share that story with my patients as well so that they know that they're not alone. Dr. Wynn has since had two healthy children, two girls, now eight and five. Her experience taught her a lot, and she wishes more women would talk openly about their loss. Many, if not most women, have experienced one miscarriage. It's not something that we talk about very often as women, broadly, but once you suffer a miscarriage, you realize that a lot of the people around you have suffered one as well. Dr. Wynn says there's plenty of resources and groups that can help, but most of all, give yourself time to heal and understand everyone deals with it different. I think be patient with yourself and have a lot of grace and, and understand that the two people in the couple don't always process the grief the same. And my husband and I process our grief very differently and move through the process very differently, and that's okay. Yeah, we appreciate Dr. Wynn being so honest and telling us her story. If you are suffering from pregnancy loss and you need help, you need to talk to someone, there's plenty of resources available to start. Here's the number for the Colorado Fetal and Newborn Loss Hotline. It's 720-946-2828. You can also log on to coloradopregnancyloss.org for resources on grief and counseling.